Hello everyone. We will continue the change request to as a part of sales order report. And we have written the logic in the user command. Yes, subroutine user command. And we have written if your R underscore U com is equal to invalidate means function code of the button. And whatever the rows are selected, we simply, simply insert it to this internal table. Now, in this internal table, we have the records which we want to invalidate. And now we will simply, simply insert those records to our database table. So how we will write the logic? I will write here, if LT underscore invalidate is not initial. If there is some record in the internal table, it means only in that case, we should insert the records to database table. If LT underscore invalidate is not initial, it means there is records in the internal table. Internal table is not initial, is not blank. Now I will go for insert database table operation. What is the syntax for the same? Insert. What is the name of our database table? We will pass. This is the name of our database table from table. And we are going for syntax LT underscore invalidate. And you can see I have written the insert statement only once, only once. If you are going for work area, it means in that case, you need to write insert in the loop and it will execute, 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 and it will highly, highly impact the performance in our scenario. But we did to improve the performance, whatever the records user selected, we firstly put into internal table. And we are now after that, whatever is in internal table, we are inserting to our database table. So we are only going for insert once, once. Now, if insert is successful, if means if we are able to insert the records to database table successfully, you all know what will be the value of size sub RC, it will be zero. And we will give a success message to the user. And you all know, we should always, always give the message with the help of message class. We should never, never hard code a message. So I will go to message class. What is the transaction code for message class? SC91. This is my message class. And I will add a message here. Suppose I will go for a message records invalidated successfully. I will go for save. I will choose the transport request. Right transport request is coming. Okay. Now we will simply use this message into our program. And you all know how to use a message. Message is the keyword. And after that, we will go for success message. If size sub RC is zero, we will go for success message. And what is the message number? Zero, zero, one. We'll go for success message. 
and yes in the bracket we will give the message class so we gave a success message now just understand the requirement now if i will check the syntax and activate up to this level i will run i gave that date user will select the rows and whenever user will click on to this button these records will save into our database table but these records should not appear here now this is the requirement if these are invalidated they should not appear in the report so it means we should delete from here we should delete from here so how we will write the logic for the same we will go for delete internal table operation and you all know yes what is the delete internal table operation we we'll simply simply write if size bar c is 0 we will delete from the internal table so i will write here delete what is the internal table now just see here this is the important part and many people will confuse here now is yes. i am running the program this data your this data is in which internal table lt underscore final it is not lt temp final after that when we selected the records yes we are passing the selected data to lt temp final and we are invalidating the rows and we are putting into database table this is one thing but now these two records should not appear here should not appear here now people will try to delete from lt temp final see this field catalog internal table which you binded it is not lt temp final it is lt final lt final so we need to delete from lt final not lt temp final if you see your field catalog also this is lt final now we will delete from lt file so i will write here delete now lt final we want to delete which records which user selected where select is equal to capital x so we whatever the rows user selected we simply insert it to the database table and after that we did it from the field catalog internal table i will check the syntax and i will activate up to this level so what is the summary of this particular video in this video what we did whatever the records are into this internal table we insert it to our database table and yes if size sub rc equal to zero we are giving a success message and we created the message into the message class now whenever user will select the rows and click on to invalidate button yes we inserted those record to database table but those records now should not appear in the report and yes in which internal table you have the records lt final do not go for lt temp final lt temp final you filled after that after selecting the records you filled lt temp final you want to delete from the alv in the alv which internal table you used 
at final so we have written the syntax for the delete internal table where select is equal to capital x so now do not confuse this is database operation this is internal table operation yes we have delete database table operation also but in our current requirement this is the syntax of your database operation we inserted the record to database table now this one is we deleted the record from the internal table now in the next video we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode so that if some confusion is there it will be clear so that's it in this video Thank you.